Hi there, my name is Jake Fowler with FiberPress.com and today I'm going to show you how to make micarta using our latest fiber press. These are a few of the things you're going to need. One of our presses, some fabric or paper to use in the press, some disposable gloves, some safety glasses, pan lining paper, some mix cups and a stir stick. We're going to be using fiberglass resin today. You can also use epoxy resin and polyester resin with these presses. You're going to want some freezer paper to protect your work surface. A electric either just drill or impact gun with a 9 16th socket on it. A paint tray and a squeegee. Well, I've just mixed up 8 ounces of fiberglass resin. For those of you that don't know, it, it takes 10 ounces or 10 drops per ounce of the catalyst for it to cure. You want to make sure you coat these very good and that there's no dry spots. It's also a good idea to have very good ventilation when working with any of these resins. It's quite smelly stuff and there we have a fan going in the back to make sure it all is ventilated very well. All right, once we got all of our pieces coated and ready to go in, make sure they're all nice lined up real good. Get a piece of pan lining paper. Get your pan lining paper as close to the edge as possible because that can will leave a line in your micarta and the finished product. Just got it nice and wrapped up. Put it in the press. Drop your lid on with the washers. Let's get all your bolts started. Got 
And this is the best part of these presses, is just how well they work. Get your impact gun that has the 9 16th socket. And you just torque it down, starting with the middle bolts. will get some leakage from the ends of the press but that's normal and from here you can take it and set it outside in the sun or leave it indoors some, with something that can catch the excess resin and it'll take anywhere from four to five hours to twelve or overnight preferably to fully cure and I'll let you guys I'll show you guys the finished product tomorrow morning when it's finished curing up. Well, it's been about 15 hours now and should be ready to come out. The reason we let it sit so long is it's been pretty cold out, so we wanted to make sure it was fully cured. When you put it out in the sun and it's really hot, it'll cure much faster. This is just how well these presses work. This paper works very good as well. And there it is, everybody. Perfectly two inches wide, quarter inch thick, and about 12 inches once you cut it. <laughs> Come on now. I, I think that's a cut.